Here's 10 amazing Minecraft update ideas that players would love. Number 10, Pirates. Right now, everything interesting in the ocean is underwater. On the surface where you're probably gonna spend the majority of your time, there's nothing. Imagine for a moment, uh, you're enjoying another peaceful day at sea. Wow, I am so relaxed. And then on the horizon, you spot a vessel flying the Jolly Roger. Cowardice is not an option, so you barrel towards the pirates full steam ahead, dodging a volley of cannon fire, and you board the ship. Your blade hisses from its scabbard, and silence falls upon the crew because they know they're already dead. While we're talking about boats, have you seen these shipwrecks, these absolute galleons, these, these brigantines? I want to ride that, me, but nay, we don't even get a sloop. All we get are these stupid little rowboats. Okay, look, I'm willing to accept that having a sailable boat this large doesn't make sense in vanilla Minecraft. At the very least, I'd like some kind of upgrade to make our boats go faster, especially since that's what the penguin was going to do before it lost the mob. Boat. We have furnace minecarts, why not make furnace boats? Number 9, an allay overhaul. This is going to be controversial, but I'm willing to die on this hill. The only reason the allay won the mob vote was because players didn't understand what they were voting for. I mean, if you look back at old Reddit threads from the time, there was a misconception that allays were able to duplicate items. I don't know where that came from, but I remember being told that they would be great for auto sorting. Holy crap, auto sorting you say? <laughs> And to think I was about to cast my vote for the little orange man. I deeply regret voting for the LA after seeing how it was implemented. I thought that I would be able to come back to my base, throw all my crap on the ground, and go ring a ding 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 ding. Take care of this mess, boys. I gotta get back to adventuring. Oh, uh, right away, sir. Oh my god, he's so epic. And just miraculously, everything would be put into the correct chest, but no. You still need to use hoppers and note blocks. Bro, you're better off just using a standard item filter. I don't want to hate on them too much. They are really cute and, and they're great dancers. No to the, myth, in my bag, I am the, the fact that you can free them from the pillagers and the woodland mansions, that's really cool. But when was the last time you saw anyone even use an LA? The fact that hardly anyone even uses them now despite being one of the newest mobs in the game is pretty telling. Number eight. Jungle villages. The desert people live in the desert villages. Right, yep. The snow people live in the snow villages. Makes sense to me. Where do the jungle people live, Mojang? <laughs> this was such an easy win for them. I'm surprised they haven't done it already. I thought for sure with the last update where they added the new bamboo wood type that our jungle friends were finally gonna get the homes that they deserved, but nope. Here they are still living on the street. People would go bonkers. If Mojang added tree houses with little rope bridges that connected them together, it would be so cool. Number seven, Enderite. We already have Netherite, so why not Enderite? You guys are starving for an end update. I can tell because as a YouTuber, I can look through your search history. Surprised? I know you are because YouTube also lets me look through your webcam. No, okay, okay, the last part was a lie. The end needs the same special sauce that Mojang gave to the nether, though it looks like we're not getting that this time around. But literally just adding a new ore to the existing end dimension would be amazing. Imagine you already have netherite equipment and then being able to go even further beyond. I was so excited about this idea, I already turned it into a fabric mod. It's on my Patreon if you wanna try it out. It adds a new ore to the end that you can mine and look at how funny it looks. It's like a weird alien donut metal. Anyway, you can smelt it and then craft all of your usual tools and armor. It's all pretty vanilla. Number six, a grappling hook. I challenge you to name a single game that's not instantly better if you add a grappling hook. Zelda, Halo, Sekiro, all made better with a grappling hook. Thematically, it would fit perfectly in Minecraft. Plus, complex movement can add a lot to a game. The first time I got an Elytra, my girlfriend and I spent an hour trying to fly through tiny hoops in the sky, and all these years later, it's still so fun and satisfying to use. I think a grappling hook would give people the same feeling all over again, especially in the 1.18 caves. Also, wouldn't it be nice to not have to pillar up everywhere? I mean, think about it. Whenever we want to get to a higher elevation, we always end up making a mess that we have to go back and clean up later. Maybe you could even grapple mobs or players. Think about all the PvP strats that would come out of that. And can you imagine the parkour possibilities? There's so much potential. Number five, colored lighting. 
Okay, this would almost certainly be super difficult to implement, so I doubt this would ever happen, but the right lighting can have a huge effect on the atmosphere. Imagine making an ice base and having soul torches actually give off blue light. But why stop there? There's 16 colors for everything else in Minecraft. Why not do the same with torches and lanterns? Number four, the fletching table. The fletching table is the only villager station that is totally useless. I don't know why that's the case. Maybe it was due to time constraints or maybe they just didn't know what to do with it. But I have incontrovertible proof that Mojang had plans for the block at one point. When you right click it, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. However, when you go into spectator mode and right click it, it opens a crafting menu for a split second. It's nothing special, it's just, the, it's just the crafting table menu. My suggestion is that you can use it to craft different types of arrowheads, and depending on the arrowhead, it could have unique properties. Maybe a wooden arrow would fly the fastest and the straightest, but it would do very little damage. Meanwhile, a netherite arrow might not go very far, but it could hit like a truck. Or if they wanted to go really crazy, maybe they could add slime arrows to, that bounces off surfaces, or maybe explosive tipped arrows, or perhaps ender pearl tipped teleportation arrows, for example. Number three, inventory changes. There's a lot that I can say here, so I'll keep it brief. I play a lot of sandbox games and there's not a single one out there that handles the inventory perfectly, but there's some features that Mojang should definitely consider stealing from other games. For example, Terraria's quick stack to nearby chest button Genius! Why is this <laughs> Why is this not in vanilla Minecraft? Maybe even an autosort button for quicker chest organization. Being able to cycle through hotbars like you can in Stardew Valley, brilliant feature. Or what if you could start typing the name of an item that you're looking for and the chests that contain the items begin to glow? Quality of life changes like this are important, especially when item sorters have a huge barrier to entry in terms of materials, build complexity sometimes, or literally your computer not being able to handle the immense lag that some of these systems cause. Number two, faster minecarts. I know I was gushing about how great the Elytra is earlier in this video, and it's great, it's awesome, but it totally invalidates minecarts as a means for transportation. Old Minecraft servers were really fun to explore because people used to build infrastructure to connect everything, but now that players can just fly around the world, most worlds are full of disconnected builds. Hell, even horses have their place in the game. They're certainly nice to have before an Elytra, and sometimes they're faster than minecarts. Seriously, there's no reason to ever hop onto one of these things for transportation, especially given the resource grind needed to set them up. The main problem is that they reach terminal velocity way too quickly. If Mojang were to triple the speed, they would still be slower than the Elytra, but they would at least be a somewhat viable option. Number one, a food overhaul. I have been playing a lot of Valheim lately, and I can say with absolute confidence that this is the best hunger system out of any game I have ever played. You can eat different things depending on the situation. Some foods will give you more health and others will give you more stamina. In Minecraft, you either get steak or golden carrots, and that pretty much invalidates every other food source in the game. There's the occasional freak that sustains themselves solely on pumpkin pies, lock those people up, throw away the key. Look, this is a survival crafting game, Google tells me so, and after the first 10 minutes, I'm not thinking about food anymore. I'm fine. But what if eating beetroot made you mine 10% faster, or glowberries made you emanate a dim glow so that you didn't have to rely on torches as much, or eating fish makes you more resistant against aquatic mobs? Do you guys have any Minecraft update ideas? Let me know in the comments. And huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Your generosity genuinely makes a tremendous difference in my life, and just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it.